Okay, the sequence of events of the uh, mechanism of a complete cycle of the music mic. When the arm gets to the end of the record, the motor starts to turn this cam. There's a, there's a uh, separate independent motor that looks like a rotisserie motor from a barbecue on the back of this plate that turns this cam. It's different from the turntable motor. Remember that the turntable motor is always turning. This starts to move like that. You see the arm lifts up right here and at that time also there's a cam wheel over here that's pushing this bar to move the arm back. See, it's pushing it back, and then it also latches into the, ar the uh, arm release relay. And now the arm is locked out of the way so that the lifting can happen of the, of the arms to, to bring the records back up. And then when we get down here, you notice the notch is approaching this lower switch stack here. And when it gets to that point right there, two things happen. It takes away one credit from the credit unit, and it also operates the stepper unit to reset it to zero so that it can count to the proper selection. Nothing much happens for the next half cycle. It, it brings the record arms back down. The arm is getting ready, but still over out of the way. When it drops, the cam uh, cutout drops at this switch, switch stack switches to its other position. At this point, the speaker mute is uh, disabled so that you'll have sound. The motor uh, circuit that cycles the thing up and down is disabled so it can't cycle anymore. And it also connects one half of the record dropping relay circuit. The other half of the dropping relay circuit is a little vertical switch here hidden by this arm right down there. Now, what happens now is the record cycle relay, which is down under here, right here under the turntable, this will pull in. And then as the turntable goes around, this will re this relay underneath the turntable board, and it's going to be very hard to show this. I can't show it, as a matter of fact. But when this relay down here, under the turntable board, let's get a flashlight on that, right there, when that pulls in, it's the same as holding the reject button in on a, uh, on a regular ma uh, automatic record player that's not a jukebox. The same as holding the reject button in. That will stay in, and as the... Uh, we're going to look underneath this thing for a minute. Underneath here, this is the record re, uh, re, uh, dropping relay. This is now pulled in, and what it's doing is it's holding a bar against the reject, the fa original factory RP-168 uh, record dropping reject uh, mechanical circuit. It's not electrical. As this is, as the turn, as it's holding it in, the turntable's going around and dropping records like normal. And what it's doing is, while it's uh, going through its cycle, you can't see it because the uh, it's not actually dropping records right now. This is going to pulse. This switch is going to pulse the, uh, or is it this switch? I'm not sure which. It's this one here. This switch here is going to pulse with every cycle of the turntable each time it goes around and drops a record it's going to pulse this switch and drop a record it's going to step up the stepper unit when the stepper gets to where it's supposed to be at that point it's going to pop out one of the the uh the selected button on the front it's going to pop that back out by its own little solenoid and it's going to release this relay like that to let the arm come into play and then the whole cycle will start all over again. So there's a lot that goes on. And uh, you can see that uh, there's a lot that can go wrong. But as long as you keep them clean, keep the switches uh, in adjustment, and you can tell by eye what's supposed to be on and what's supposed to be off in the position of this cam uh, let out. These things get bent all the time. They get bent by taking them out of the cabinet. They get bent by accident when the back door is off. So you can hook this with your, your shirt cuff and rip and pull it up. But uh, if you just look at it, you can just use fine logic. And you can see that with this cutout here, with this cutout, 
you can see that this switch is supposed to be closed. This one here in the middle is open, and this one on the top is closed. The ones on the bottom are open. The only time they're closed is when the, uh, I'm sorry, these are, yeah, these are open. The only time these are closed is one time during the cycle when this gets over to here, and that, again, it resets the, the counting unit, the selector unit, to zero, and it also takes away a credit from the credit unit so that you're not getting free plays. And uh, anyway, that's that part of the mechanism operation.